My voice is a factory sputtering into night. It is a miner leaning against his fiancée's window, brandishing a stolen lump of coal like scripture, more valuable than scripture, where capital is godliness. My voice is the shavings of unappeasable cliffs. Boys composed of chalk, daring each other down from the beach into the mystery current, each gone for as long as it takes to grow beards and harbour debt. My voice is barbarism and virtue, forcing the pack horse into early retirement. He gasps on the sofa, watching himself on the news. My voice is a transition of man to ghost, repeated every time the bedroom door closes. It is the imperial rule of postcodes. With little flags fluttering on windows like static leaves, my voice is a cadence of trains, falling over each other to escape, knowing they must return in the fruit of the moon, animals scaling the city walls, tearing down clouds like mortuary cloths, it is a measure of the mongrel, standing in all counties, sitting in none, my voice is its own republic. It is a circulation of steel in paradise, the absence of butterflies on glassy trees. It is a passage to the aggressively serene from a metropolis of the casually thunderous. It is gasoline licking the cart of a nymph, dribbling like a politician in a hotel corner, a mosaic of cities aged with labour, cycling through the vacuum of modern unconsciousness. The murmur of an isolated pub, a sanctuary littered with decades of men old and loveless until they clamber to the attic and found in dust my voice is a conflict of regional doctrine, a religion collected on the doorstep with the paper, a shotgun pointed at a vacant room, my voice is knocking at silent windows.